So the first few songs came pretty quickly uh, after I haven't been a saint. Um, once the Warriors were together, me and the drummer, that is, because it was still just the two of us for quite a while, the first couple songs came pretty quick, Streetwise and Metal Street USA. And this song also came very quick. And I remember doing those three songs a lot, like every single time we got together. In addition to the covers that we had talked about that we did, we did a lot of Judas Priest, a lot of Scorpions, a lot of Motley Crue, especially some Dio, uh, some Def Leppard. Because it was right around late 1983, and I believe it was before Theater of Pain came out, because it was all Shout at the Devil stuff. So I believe it was all 1983, maybe very early 1984 because we did do some stuff off of uh, Love It First Sting from the, the Scorpions. But uh, we were doing a lot of these original songs, and like I had said, all of them were without any kind of lyrics to them. So uh, this song was, was the third that we had started doing. We did Streetwise, Metal Street USA, and now this one. Uh, the reason that I'm playing this one out here on the deck is because uh, very few of my bands actually performed this song live was a great song, one of our best songs, and was probably going to be the single from uh, Fear No Evil. But at the time we had uh, a female vocalist named Jody who did a wonderful job singing that song. So See Me Cry was one of the, the main songs in the Fear No Evil set list. Uh, the Warriors did do it, like I said, but instrumentally we had no lyrics written for it at the time. Once Fear No Evil got together, my mom wrote most of the words to that one. I wrote the music. And the song was about a breakup. It was the first of many, many future breakup songs that I had written. I became quite well known for writing uh, songs about my love life. This song was performed by Fear No Evil, like I said, all the time. Then the band after that, Cry Wolf, also performed it. Uh, our singer Bob, who also played bass, did a fantastic job on it as well. After that band broke up, the song was, was dropped. Uh, we never played it again live in the Boardwalk Nights or Runaway Train or even Xterra down the road or uh, any of my bands never played that one live. I did include it on my album, It's Only Rock and Roll, the album, uh, with a fantastic vocalist named Tara singing it, uh, duet style with me. So I'm going to put a link to that song here so you can check it out. That's, I think, the ultimate version of the song. It was also recorded on the Fear No Evil demo, which sounded great too. I'm going to include the, the link to the song from the It's Only Rock and Roll album. I think that's the way I always envisioned it with the keyboards and uh, multi-harmony guitar parts. And uh, the main inspiration behind this song, uh, musically, was I was listening to a lot of kicks at that time. and. A song of theirs called Body Talk really influenced the music to this one. Um, they were one of my favorite bands, still are. And I'm going to play the acoustic version of this right now. Uh, this is See Me Cry Acoustically.
you all.